Choco Biogeographical Region spans 100,000 square kilometers of humid forest in western Colombia and northwestern Ecuador. It is one of Conservation International's original 17 conservation hotspots, and it is among the top 5% of areas in the world in terms of biodiversity and endemism. Endemism is when a species only occurs in one habitat type, like the Choco, and nowhere else in the world. The Choco is home to over 60 endemic species of birds, which is the highest number in the Americas, and over 500 total species of birds. Many of these birds are endangered due to habitat loss, and their extinction would not only mean the loss of some very interesting animals, but also a disruption for the forest dynamics. Currently, it's estimated that only 5 to 10 percent of Ecuador's original Choco forest remains. Worryingly, deforestation continues at a steady pace. In Ecuador, deforestation is driven mostly by an impoverished local populace that lacks alternatives and depends on the exploitation of natural resources through activities such as slash and burn agriculture, timber extraction, and hunting. Without active conservation efforts, remaining Choco forests will be lost in the near future, with a huge loss to biodiversity and to the well-being of local residents. The situation in the Ecuadorian Choco is critical, but the value of regenerating forests should not be underestimated. Given the right conditions, tropical forests regenerate relatively quickly. In fact, reforestation is a main focus at Bilsa Biological Reserve, where scientists have based much of their work. Bilsa is a 3,500 hectare private preserve owned and operated by the Fundacion Patun Sacha and located within the larger Machu Chindul Reserve in the province of Esmeraldas. Environmental networks have been formed by local community members and reforestation of watersheds has been identified as one of the top priorities in the area. Responding to this, an environmental education program was created to focus on forest regeneration and reforestation. Most local residents want to conserve, but need our help to pursue viable alternatives to deforestation. There is tremendous potential, need, and local desire to create a positive change in these unique